the Science Learning Centre Northeast, CPD trainer Deborah Herridge is infesting the garden with multicoloured woollen caterpillars. For her delegates, it's not an infestation, but an investigation. Part of her course, helping teachers learn to use the new APP criteria for science. Counting caterpillars is uh, an investigation I use with younger children and it uh, takes them outdoors. And it's really an introduction to uh, habitat and camouflage. And the idea is that teacher will go and just place caterpillars in the school grounds. And the children have a number of minutes in a relay to try and find as many as they can. Our three starters, off you go. Uh, we've got very bright coloured ones and we have more muted colours that would blend into the background. Combine them. So Each piece of sticky tape on the board represents a two minute time interval. So then we'll come back inside and say, OK, this is what you've come up with. Can anybody spot a pattern here? So we've made a kind of tally chart, haven't we? Can anybody spot any sort of pattern? We found more, most at the beginning and then it became harder to find them. Is there another pattern? Bearing in mind, there are these colours, these dark green and dark brown colours that we didn't see them until right at the end. If you were a caterpillar, which colour would you rather be? You'd rather be dark green, wouldn't you? So you wouldn't be seen. So there's a whole avenue you could go down of the biology content, looking at camouflage and adaptation. So there's that um, factual element to which colour caterpillar would you like to be? You know, and they, they might say, oh, we'd like to be the, the sparkly pink one. Say, well, you get eaten pretty quickly. So it might be better off. You might be better off to be, you know, one of the brown ones. I think we went the Counting Caterpillars investigation is just one of the exercises Deborah uses to help demonstrate to teachers that using APP in science is doable. And in fact, the structures could already be in place. If we then turn the board around through 90 degrees, they've turned their tally chart into a pictogram. What's it now? Easy, isn't it? So the caterpillars are represented as the bits of wool in a different way. Now, representing data in different ways is one of the key elements of um, the communication strand of the APP. So that's an early start to actually ticking off and representing that area of uh, data handling. The counting caterpillars is always a revelation when you turn the board around because there's that, oh, sort of moment. And I, I love that because it's, yeah, that's, it is that simple. And it's, um, it's just having somebody to show you that. You know, it's so easy. Everybody can do that in their classroom. Deborah became a fan of APP after realising how it encourages practical science investigations like the caterpillar exercise. If you're doing practical science, then the evidence you need for your APP assessments just generates itself. And it's just being aware of what you're looking out for. So it's been a, bit, a little bit more tuned in to the criteria and what you need to be looking out for as evidence. If you're a teacher who's not doing any practical work, then you're going to find it a little trickier because the APP guidelines are based on practical science and enquiry. That was quite a good tool to introduce test, fair testing and measuring. How excited the children would be actually going outside and hands-on and digging and being able to find things, hopefully. So. This morning when I came, I was quite full of trepidation, actually, about APP, and now I feel quite reassured.